chili pepperoni and other hot peppers are peppers from the capsicum family. They are popular thanks to their spicy taste, which is an indispensable part of many dishes. Peppers owe their hot taste to a special ingredient called capsaicin. The more capsaicin it contains, the hotter the pepper. In large quantities, capsaicin burns the lips, tongue and throat and makes the eye tear. Capsaicin gives peppers not only their spiciness, but also special medicinal properties that make them one of the healthiest foods in the world. At the end of summer, we harvest the fruits of our labor and what we grow our plants for. A lot of different plants and varieties have led to the variety of fruits we harvest. In this video, we will talk about hot peppers and their healing properties, as well as how to store them and prepare various food supplements. As always, we hope that you will find this video interesting and that you will support our work by liking the video. And for any questions, be free to write to us in the comments. Write to us about your experience in growing hot peppers and other exotic vegetables. We have already talked about the cultivation of peppers in our other videos and the cultivation of ordinary and hot peppers doesn't have any big differences. As with regular peppers, it is necessary to watch out for diseases and pests that may appear. And in addition, these peppers also need feeding and timely watering. You can watch the videos on the cultivation of peppers on our other channel called Production of Fruit and Vegetables. And in this video you can listen to information about the healing properties and application of hot peppers in the human diet. Thanks to capsaicin, chili has anti-inflammatory properties. Capsaicin strongly blocks a substance that is associated with inflammatory processes in the body. Regular intake of capsaicin, for example in chili, reduces the risk of arthritis. The latest research confirms that chili reduces pain caused by arthritis, psoriasis and diabetic neuropathy. It has been shown that hot peppers reduce the level of bad cholesterol and prevent the formation of blood clots. Cultures that widely use chili have much lower rates of heart disease, stroke and thrombosis. According to Ayurveda, the spicy taste stimulates the appetite and improves digestion. Food that is digested well provides the body with necessary nutrients and energy, while on the other hand, food that is digested slowly creates toxins. Therefore, according to Ayurveda, good digestion is essential for our health. The bright red color of the hot peppers testifies to the high content of beta-carotene or pro-vitamin A. Only a small amount of these peppers per day provide the body with additional doses of vitamin C and A, which are essential in the prevention of infections. Prostate cancer researches have shown that capsaicin works as a real killer of cancer cells. After four weeks of capsaicin therapy, the growth of prostate cancer cells was stopped in most animals, and the size of the tumors was significantly reduced. For the prevention of prostate cancer, it is recommended to take 400 mg of capsaicin three times a week. The hot taste of hot peppers increases thermogenesis, that is, the generation of heat in the body. 
the process of thermogenesis requires the consumption of additional calories, which result in the loss of fat deposits. Therefore, we can say that the consumption of these peppers in the diet is good for reducing body weight. For a long time, spicy foods were mistakenly believed to cause stomach ulcers. Today, it has been confirmed that hot peppers not only do not cause ulcers, but prevent them because they kill harmful bacteria and stimulate the production of protective gastric juices. Admittedly, spicy food stimulates heartburn, so you should be moderate. The other advantage of regular intake of chili is that it can prevent type 2 diabetes. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows that the regular intake of chili reduces the body's need to secrete insulin, which lowers the blood sugar level after a meal. Residents of Mexico claim that hot peppers clear their minds, while residents of Thailand and India are sure that they owe their health to it. By the way, we should say that there are several thousand types of chili peppers. They come in different shapes, sizes and levels of spiciness. Jalapeno, habanero, cayenne, tabasco are just some of the types of hot peppers that are increasingly been growing in our area. Until recently, we only had hot pepperoni, but as it is easy to get the seeds of exotic plants today, we also sow and plant hot peppers of different shapes, colors and degrees of spiciness. Many hobby gardeners successfully sow and plant the plant of peppers, but when it comes to time to harvest, they are not entirely sure. When is the best time to harvest? And then how to dry the peppers? Peppers are picked for drying when they get their characteristic color, be it red, orange or yellow. So the pepper must be ripe, but not overripe or wilted. If you pick an unripe pepper, it will rot as it dries. In case you plan to pickle it or preserve it in oil, the pepper doesn't have to take on its usual color. Then you can harvest it even before it is fully ripe. When picking peppers, especially if you have them in large quantities, be sure to wear gloves, because capsaicin, the natural alkaloid that is to blame for the hotness of peppers, gets into the skin and under the nails. And you won't be able to wash it off your fingers for a long time, which can be unpleasant when touching any part of your body, especially the eyes. After you have picked the peppers, leave it in the basket for a few days to wither a little. Do not wash the peppers for drying, in case there is soil or other impurities on it. Just wipe it with a dry cloth. You can dry your peppers in several ways. It is easiest to spread it on a clean cloth and keep it in the shade in an airy place. When it is completely dried, store it in dry jars or paper bags and keep it in a dark and cool place. You can also dry it in a dehydrator. However, on the other hand, it is much more attractive to string peppers into a bread that will decorate the kitchen or pantry and always be at hand when you're cooking. The easiest way to string peppers is on a string. Tie the end of the thread into a knot and it is even better to tie a piece of wood or a toothpick at the end. Push the other end of the thread through a needle. Insert a needle with a thread into the stem of the pepper and be careful not to make a hole in the fruit as this could be an entry point for mold. 
You can hang your peppers in a shady and airy place. If the weather is wet with a lot of rain, then bring them into the kitchen or some other place in the house. It is an excellent decoration of any kitchen, and peppers are at hand when we need to add them to a dish. As always, we really hope that this video will inspire you to grow hot peppers in some part of your garden. Only a few squares are enough, or you can even grow these peppers in vases next to the garden or on your terrace. They are very decorative and will decorate any space, and with its bright colors, it will attract attention like the most beautiful flowers.